Hello all. Good morning. Good evening or good afternoon. Based on wherever you are. As we are working on what's new in BC25, aka Business Central 2024 Release Wave 2, let's get into some more development stuff. So with Business Central 25, or should I say uh, Runtime 14.0, we will be able to download symbol with attach configuration. Now, if you don't know attach configuration, we'll talk about it. What does that mean? We'll check it on BC24 as well as on BC25. So let's get started. So when you create a new extension, you typically get a uh, project like this or a launch launch.json like this. Now this launch is used to download symbols and then also uh, publish your extension. At this moment, the AL package is empty and we'll add a new configuration we'll talk about it. So if you have to add new configuration, you can just click the button here, which says add configuration, and then you can choose which kind of configuration you would like to add. Now there are different types of configuration. The first two are attach and we'll talk about it. Then there are two with initialize and last two is publish. So let's start from bottom to up. So the first one is published to your own server that is applicable if you are running business central on premise or if you are running dockers. The second one is if you are trying to publish on a business central cloud environment sandbox specifically, you cannot publish on a production environment. So this is for publishing your app, which you do with the F5 or control F5 on your server on prem or cloud. These two, are for again on-prem and cloud and these are used to initialize the snapshot debugging now what is the snapshot debugging uh, snapshot debugging is used for debugging production environments so you can even debug production environment with the snapshot debugging with the snapshot debugging what happens is it takes the snapshot of the process that user runs and then you can kind of debug that offline that snapshot so that you are not blocking the environment. You can do that on-prem as well as on SaaS. Now the last two or the top two are attached to the client on, on server, on your own server or Docker or on the cloud sandbox. Now let's take the example of cloud sandbox. Now if we look at it, these two profiles look or configuration look exactly same more or less. It says name, type, and then request here is type of attach, whereas here the request is type of launch. The difference between request is uh, the launch is used when you publish something and it launches the client. Whereas attach type of requests are used when you are trying to debug something. So if you are trying to debug an environment, you can create an attach profile and then based on all of the setting like on which environment or on which type of service you would like to break. Uh, is there a user ID involved? Is there a session ID involved? You can filter out those and then your debugger on your cloud sandbox or on-prem will get attached to that particular session so that you can debug. Till BC24 where we are right now, if you just have the attached profile or if you have both, you'll not be able to download symbols. So when you do download symbol, it gives you an error that you cannot download symbol. But if I have the launch profile, which is this, and then I try to download symbol, it automatically understand that there is a download, uh, sorry, there is a uh, launch profile. And then based using that profile, it kind of downloads the symbol for you. So let's look at that. If I do copy and open, it pops up my web client where I can download the symbol. And this is happening based on the launch configuration till business and 20. Four. Now with Business Central 25, Microsoft understand that there are scenarios where you just like to debug. So why you additionally need to create a launch configuration just to download symbols because you might be taking reference of it. So what you can do with the runtime, as you can see, these are downloading right now and we'll delete it as they get done. What you can do starting Business Central 25 is you can or runtime 14.0 is you can actually download symbols with the attached profile. So let's pick this environment name BC25 preview. 
I'll make necessary adjustment in my file here and these as you can see are downloaded and I'll delete them as they are not needed right now okay so what I can do is I can change this environment name to be my preview and I'll remove this for a while or I'll remove it in a while okay in the app.json I need to make sure that I'm on 14.0 which will be an error at this moment and the application is okay why there's an error because I'm not in the right uh, a language extension so I'm just switching it back to the preview which it should be at this moment and I'll do a reload okay so everything looks good here uh, I have my uh, app.json updated and I don't have symbols and I only let's assume have an attached profile which I'm using to debug something right so what I can do is I can go ahead and download symbol the system will respect your launch configuration and you will notice that sooner than later there will be files getting downloaded or symbols getting downloaded based on your app.json this makes it simpler when you get into a, a situation where you just have to debug some certain things you don't have to then create a separate profile and people getting confused why there are multiple configuration attached to it so starting runtime and I would use the word runtime runtime 14.0 because even if you are on business until 25 but your runtime is less which you can have you will still not be able to download the symbols with the attached profile so if your business central runtime your app runtime is set to be 14.0 or higher even using the attached configuration you will be able to download symbols on your VS code so let me know what you think about it in the comments to this video and at this point you know the drill if you like the content hit the like button if you think this is shareable and other developers should know about it then share it on your social media and if you haven't please do subscribe to the channel otherwise i'm very sure that you'll miss out with a lot of updates that are coming on this channel around the new version i'll see you sooner than later into the next video till then keep learning and keep sharing whatever you are learning thank you have a nice day